eyes are beaming red. <laughs> Always pay attention to y'all surroundings, bro. As she's walking past me, this girl has a pocket knife in her hand. I'm in my skin clean era. Watch that. What you mean I'm in my skin clean era? Dear diary, why do old dudes think that I'm stupid? God. Oh, what the fuck? I would like to be a morning girly. I really would. As much as y'all think that I might not because I sleep till like 11 p.m. and my family knows that I sleep until 11 p.m., I genuinely would like to be a morning girly. So here I am trying to do this video. And I've always wanted to do one of these videos. But the idea of waking up this early makes me want to myself myself like i feel like once i get up i'm gonna be fine but right now all i want to do is turn the fucking camera off and tell myself oh i'll do this video tomorrow no i'm not though it also sucks that the one day i decided to film this video is the day that i am was up till 3 a.m editing a video so i slept for three hours oh i can't wait hold up real quick hey siri what time is it Bitch, hey Siri, what time is it? It's 6.39 a.m. If I'm gonna be awake this early, let me at least go through my ritual of checking my phone like I usually do. Okay. Wait, before I get out of bed, Tyler the Creator dropped a single dog tooth. I seen everyone posting it, but I didn't listen. She could rub my face, I don't want nothing in return. Tyler, why would you start the song this way? Actually, I don't even want to listen because I don't want to get copyrighted. I'll listen to it later. Right now I'm about to girl shut the fuck up. Did, bro. What? I got this. Let me give myself a pep talk right now. I got this. I may have only slept for three hours. My eyes are beaming red. I may have only slept for three hours. But you're gonna take a nap after you get all your productive shit done, bro. This is the way to live, bro. All the rich people wake up at the crack of dawn, at the crack of the ass crack. Crack of the ass crack of the chicken. Then they get their shit done, get their shit done, cause you know you're not gonna get it done if you wake up late. That's one thing about it. Get your shit done, you can go back to sleep later. But once you lock in, you're not even gonna be worried about sleep. Sleep not gonna be worried about you, you're not gonna be worried about it. And if y'all really worried about each other, y'all can get out, y'all can fight. That made me feel good, you know? I think that worked. I am not gonna do my full skincare routine right now. Basically, I'm just not gonna wash my face, but I'm gonna put my products on because it's literally, literally 6 fucking a.m. And I did my skincare at 3 a.m. before I went to sleep, so I feel like it would be dumb if I over cleanse, if I wash my face again. And I just washed it three hours ago and did my full skincare three hours ago. So I'm gonna wait until a little later when I get in the shower to wash my face. For now, let's put our products on. Sleep or what? Have y'all seen my big ass bottle of Aquaphor? Hold on. Found it, found it, found it. We're done. Now let's head to the closet. Let's hope that doesn't fall. Please. We're in the closet now. Let's find something to wear. I'm really just in the hoodie section. Great. Hoodie. Great. Want some sweats? I'm gonna keep complaining throughout this video about being tired. I just want you to know that now, okay? I don't want you to be like, oh my god, like she's supposed to be motivating me and she's just complaining about being tired the whole time. I am tired, Claire, I am tired. So I haven't journaled in a while, so I figured like, why not start the day with journaling? Some nice, calm, relaxing journaling. The last time I journaled, it's, it's such a nosebleed page. Like, I don't want y'all to see, but like, the ink was dark blue. I used an Expo marker because I had so much to get off my chest that day, bro. I was OD, like, I've tried not to put too much pressure on myself when it comes to journaling. I've gotten comments where people are like, what do you journal about? Or like, can you help me of things to write about? Honestly, you just write about what you feel like writing about. You can write goals, you can write things you wanna achieve. Let your mind wander. Write down whatever you wanna write, bro. There's no specific way to journal. It's just a good way to get things off of your chest. At least it is for me. So I'm finna just get some shit off my chest. Dear diary, why do old dude think that I'm stupid? He keep playing in my fucking face. What the hell is wrong with you two? 
journaling session is done. I am about to now mobile order something from Starbucks. I have 46 star points. I literally just got hit to like Starbucks's um app. I mean, I knew about it. Everyone's like Starbucks rewards and all of this, but like I wasn't about to do all that, bruh. And one thing about me, once the stores start running out, I'm deleting the app so I can get Subway Surfer. But anyway, I think I'm gonna order if you guys don't know what my order is. I am getting an iced matcha latte venti with oat milk, seven pumps of brown sugar syrup. If I get a grande, I get four pumps of brown sugar syrup and cinnamon powder on top. And then I either get bacon gouda, breakfast sandwich, or double smoke, depending on how I'm feeling. But I'm gonna get a double smoke today. Order will be ready at 7.46, so I'll see you guys there. I'm too thick, I'm in an elevator shake. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I am back from Starbucks. My ultimate goal in life is to get my matcha to be as sweet as Starbucks, bro. Bro, let me tell y'all about what happened last night. Now, I'm gonna tell this on my stream present time. So, if you already heard this story from Twitch, then just ignore it. Just ignore it. But last night, I'm coming home from my little... I was on the phone with my friend J Dog. He he ain't experienced the whole thing because I didn't really act crazy, but like I told him as it was happening basically. This was a crazy ass situation, bro. Anyway, last night I came from dropping my little off at his game. It was like 8:30 pushing 9, right? I'm on the phone, I'm on FaceTime with my friend J Dog, right? So I'm like, I'm me being considerate, I'm like, I'm not gonna take the elevator and fuck up our call. We were in the middle of a, a good conversation, basically. So I'm like, boom, let me take the stairs real quick. Take the stairs, walk a little bit. I'm like, let's burn some calories, fuck it, why not? As I'm on my level, there's like a little loop to get to my apartment, so I'm like approaching that loop, and from a distance, I, cause we have a bridge that like separates the two sides of a the building. There was a lady coming from the bridge, like I could tell that she was, she's been walking straight, right? And I see her from a distance coming, but I'm not worried. Like, I'm about to hit that curve where I'm turning anyway. And she's going to still be going straight, so I'm not worried about where she's going, bro. So I'm looking down on my phone. Always pay attention to your surroundings, bro. I'm telling y'all. Always pay attention to your surroundings, bro. Because you will be on that phone texting Jake. <laughs> Jake, why are you coming to school tomorrow? Get that head chopped off. Michael Myers. I usually don't text while I'm walking, especially late at night. But I'm on the phone, so I'm speaking, so I'm looking down. I'm talking to her. As the lady gets closer, I see a fucking smile on her face. And I could describe everything she have on. Navy blue hoodie. Navy blue shorts. Like, they were, like, long, like, up to her knee. I'm thinking she just came from the gym. Like, it was, like, boy, like, basketball shorts. Like, a little, old, like, bag. White lady. Blonde hair. Hair in a ponytail. Ponytail swinging like she's walking fast as shit. As she come closer to me, I see a smile. Like, when I, if I'm lying, I'm dying. The smile. The, you Y'all seen the movie Smile? Shorty was smiling like. Just not even looking at me. Walking straight like as if she's on the fucking movie. If I'm lying, I'm dying, y'all. Just walking fast and shit. Ponytail swinging, smiling. She came closer to me. You know, we shoulder to shoulder at this point past the hallway. I'm walking this way. She walking the opposite way. I started talking to my friend like out of nervousness, but I kind of tried to show the phone. His dumb ass wasn't even paying attention. I look down. I'm like, yeah, I forgot what the fuck we was talking about. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even remember what we was talking about. You know how you just talk when you're nervous? I don't know if anybody else does that. I look down. As she's walking past me shoulder to shoulder, this hoe has a pop pocket knife in her fucking hand. Now this is LA. I don't live in Beverly Hills, okay? She looked like she was a resident, bruh. And this hoe was just smiling with a pocket knife like this. I'm so glad that she walked past me. I didn't even turn around, bruh. I don't know where she was going. That ain't got nothing to do with me. And this the thing about our apartments that I hate. Why the big ass doors, the front door closed slow as shit. I'm walking in the house. I'm speeding walking in the house. The door like, Anyway, I have a video to finish that I need to go up today. It's currently 8 a.m. If you haven't seen it, go click the i card. So, y'all finna lock in. I'll probably see y'all in a couple of hours, but let's be productive. Ah, I just ran over my toe. Video is done. Woo! Now, I'm about to sit here while it's uploading and so I can make a thumbnail and everything. And I'm about to edit Twitch clips. I'm sure y'all do not care. But if you don't even want to watch my Twitch and you want to just see highlights for one you can sub to my archive channel I will not stop promoting that channel a lot of people don't know I have a second channel or you can just go to my main channel here and it'll be like right underneath it but I have a Twitch TikTok where I post all like funny Twitch clips so if, even if you're not just like a, you don't really watch gameplay you just want to see small little clips and highlights you can follow that page at Twitch Kaya Alexa play relaxing music for six hours. We've been awake for six hours. It's 1241. I still have a few things that I want to get done today in this productive. What the? F what? 
What is this video? Ooh. I am gonna go to CVS to get a few things. I wanna go to the grocery store to get some fruit so I can make a fruit salad. I'm gonna do some laundry before I get in the shower. And I think that's it. I'm trying to do my laundry because one thing about me, baby, one thing about me. What the fuck? Wait, be honest though, did it move? thinking about this the other day but is anybody a OG and has been on my channel since I used to give out hugs at the end of my video that's so ironic because I genuinely am not a hugger I'm not a hugger this guy that I'm talking to is low-key making me a hugger at the moment I'm not a hugger I'm, I'm really not a hugger and I used to give y'all fake hugs comment a red heart down below if you were around during those times that was a whole different era of me I don't like using the word era though I feel like everybody overused the word era I'm in my skin clean era wash that out what you mean I'm in my skin clean air? You don't wash your ass before the era? What, what you gonna do when the era ends? Let me know, let me know. I know how to do laundry, guys, you know? Hit me up, bro. All right, y'all. Don't mind the seat over here being, like, down a little, like, far. Scoot it back. My man was sitting right here. I was having a conversation with one of my mutuals about this the other day. I troll and play around so much about having a man that like I genuinely feel like when I'm serious in certain situations, it's just covered up with a joke. And that's a pro and a con because I could be like madly in love with somebody and I make my little like, my man was here, my man was here joke. And y'all be like, girl, shut the fuck up. You always say that you don't have a man. But in reality, I could be like dating somebody for years and y'all just wouldn't. And y'all would have to just see him to believe it. That's fine with me. I'm not gonna lie. I could just call me delusional forever, bro. Cause anyway, we finna go hit a lick like I had told y'all earlier finna go hit a lick this him calling right now hello what the thing about it is it's just so fun to troll like am I single am I taking am I with your dad am I with your great granddad the world may never know that's that's all I'm saying I literally posted on my story that I was posting at 2 p.m. it's 2 10 and I'm already getting dms bro hurry the fuck up I'm waiting like how you waited on them Drake tickets. Why the fuck are you lying? It's been 11 minutes, ho. They sent that 21 seconds ago. <laughs> Live, laugh, love, Skywater, bro. Oh, yeah. It's on me. Came out the way to let your fantasy come true. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She can't go any louder. Damn. I'm behind a police car, bro. I hope they don't say nothing. If you know, you know. You know exactly why. Wait, let me know though, let me know. So, as y'all know, I got Drake tickets. And if you literally run back the clip of when I was talking about getting Drake tickets, I was crying over not getting the Drake tickets. At first I didn't get them and then I got them. But I literally said word for word, bar for bar. If it was Brent, Party Next Door, or Bryson Tiller, and I didn't get those tickets, I would cry. And look who the fuck goes on tour literally the day after I posted that video. Bryson Tiller, and you know I got the tickets. If you follow me on Instagram, you know this already, but if you don't, you should. At Kaya Next Door, the same as my YouTube. But yes, I did get Bryson Tiller tickets, so if anybody else is going to see Bryson Tiller in LA, I will see you there, baby, and I'm front row. Surely did, bro, blew a bag on them tickets, bro. Don't know how I'ma pay rent, though. Let me know. This is my absolute favorite Drake song of all time. I don't know what effect it has on me, but it just... It just grabs me, grabs my wig. All of my friends, friends I don't have anymore. Guess, Guess I should have tried to keep my family close. All of my let's just be friends, friends I don't have anymore. This part right here, bro. Open your ears. Y'all stop thinking, boy. I hate people like you. What? What? You can't even figure out what's going on with you, dummy. Drake, don't copyright me, bro. I spent like a band and a half. Tickets, bro. I fuck with you clearly, bro. Just let me use like 10 seconds of the song. This song made me feel like I'm in the Caribbean. With my man laid up with a grass skirt. I I have when we pulling up, bro. I come to the same grocery store. It literally ain't nothing new. He about to get his legs split <laughs> in half. Like string cheese. <laughs> Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Genuinely, I hate 
self checkouts who the fuck decided to put a self checkout in smart and final just for it to not work like every time i scan something unexpected item in bagging area bro the fucking blueberries weren't even found in the system every single time i try to scan the blueberries it literally said unknown item found not only do you have to key in your own shit like when you have fruits and stuff you have to key it in you have to search what the fruit is but how many you have in there and all of that it's like i don't get it bro i was literally keying in the blueberries and it was just not found in their system why are y'all selling this shit if i can't key it in bro they just be doing shit niggas just do shit niggas just do any any type of shit and he do shit too and don't try to pull up on my doors bro i'm not going for that conniving ass game i'm a real nigga i just sat here looking for this section for like 10 minutes bro walking around okay we're getting some journals this is a cute little journal beach please this is a cute little journal i think we can get that Maybe I should get these two. I like the straps. And then I need some pins, y'all know. These, these. I was so thirsty in there, bruh. I had to get a drink. So I'm gonna be trying organic guaki, organic yerba mate, lemon elation. Never had this before. It just looked like a fancy influencer drink that people try. So I'm gonna try it. Also, it's literally 3.31 p.m. I told y'all that I was trying to be done by two so I could take a nap, but baby, fuck that nap. Fuck the nap and fuck anybody related to the nap bro at this point i don't even feel tired anymore let's cheers to productivity cheers oh um quite an interesting flavor i'll say that it's tea with lemon it literally just tastes like tea with lemon with very minimal sugar but it has 100 calories why am i acting like i just count calories i don't bro i don't care i'm still gonna drink it though because i spent my money on it for one and for two it's really cold but anyway i am gonna show y'all real quickly what i got i got some journals and some pins that's literally it i saw a tiktoker talk about that she does this thing where she gets she has like mini journals but obviously they didn't have any mini journals but she has multiple different journals and i thought it was so cool because i have one journal and I always feel pressure because I'm like, I don't know what to write about. And sometimes I just write my feelings. But I be having, I be wanting to have like categorized journals and categorized things for certain things. And the girl that I saw on TikTok, I really wish I could find her at, bro. I really do. But she said that she was writing a memoir about her life in one of her journals. And I thought that was the coolest idea ever. And I really enjoyed writing as a kid. I was like, why do I not write anymore? So, but anyway, I will see y'all back at home because this fruit is getting hot as shit. And I've been talking and foaming up the car. My brother is not hot actually so stop talking bro. honestly y'all i feel okay i'm genuinely not understanding how i'm not tired bro. i feel like i could go run a marathon right now like i'm geek It's now the next day. Um, I know this was supposed to be like a just a one day vlog. Like I t I intended for this to be a one day vlog of just me being my most productive self. I feel like the shit I did is like a every day. You know, it's like the average person can do that without waking up at 6 a.m. Like, but I do feel actually really productive, cons especially considering I edited a video. Usually, me editing a video take my full day. So I'm not gonna discredit myself because I felt like I was very productive yesterday, especially for someone who was running on like two to three hours of sleep but i'm just saying i'm just saying. i hope this motivated y'all to be productive too oh my god bro i just have such a busy life like I plan for today to be like a rainy day indoors, right? I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be like a rainy day indoors. Like, it's raining in LA, aesthetic. I'm gonna have a coffee and just edit and watch cartoons. Baby, why I look outside and the rain stop? It was raining for an hour. Let's roll up out of bed. Oh, shit. My mom ate with this one thing as a kid. She was like, if you feeling down in the dumps or you wanna just boost your energy and boost your mood, make up that bed and open them blinds. You gonna feel 10 times better you make up that bed and open them blinds. She ate with that. like. She literally ate so bad with that shit. I will say, I am not a roses girl. I love sunflowers and I love uh, tulips. But the person who bought me these flowers, I, I don't hardly ever buy myself roses unless they just absolutely have no sunflowers or no other flowers that I like and I want fresh flowers in my apartment. Anyway, the person who bought me these flowers, um, I don't know. I'm glad they didn't get no cheap ones because I've had these for like over two weeks and they're still not dead. Like there's a few, this one in particular. I've just been taking care of them. I've just been changing the water every day. They still have a few days left in them. So we're gonna change the water today. Of course, we gotta add some ice. Oh my god! What? 
Wow. <laughs> I love my life so much. It's so crazy how much I love it. Well, that's so hard. Still so beautiful. On top of that crazy mess I just made, I burned my bacon. No, actually, what the fuck is this one, bruh? This one's okay, because I like my bacon a little burnt, a little crisp. Like, this one's good. And guess who's still finna eat it? This girl! I seriously thought this was so innovative of me. Like, oh my god, use the strainer to rinse the fruit. Does anybody even do this, bruh? What the fuck? Gotta eat some for good measure, of course. If you've been on my channel a long time, you know I went through my Emma Chamberlain blueberry phase where all I was eating was blueberry. Eating the whole container in one city. The rest is empty with no brain, but the cover nerd, the best MC with no chain you ever heard. Take it from the tech nine, hold up. They pick, but don't know they next shine, I'm shine over. Every Man, it out the shack. If I did want to see the devil, it's a setback. Every time I see the cage, you got one fell. If you do, then we can play. It got real dark. As many times as I come here, I will never get sick of it, ever. It's just so fun. Okay, so I know, I know I said I was supposed to go fold my clothes. I still haven't folded my clothes. It's literally only like probably five things to put up, bro. But anyway, here's what I got when I went to the AJ's. You don't know what the AJ's is if you're new here. Basically, I call it the awesome jewelry store. It's really just like a tourist spot. And I'll take a walk over there on occasion. It's so cool. They just have like small little knickknacks and jewelry and stuff. As you guys seen, I've been there a million times on my channel. Anyway, my inner child is screaming right now. Like she's literally screaming. I went through so many different eras and phases as a kid I think my last phase that like broke my childhood was Hello Kitty it's so funny because I just bought these charms if y'all don't know I be buying the charms for my nails I get them from Amazon so my next nail set I was gonna do Hello Kitty theme because I got these charms from Amazon so cute and I go to the AJ's and they don't usually like update things like it's usually like the same stuff I'm not gonna lie I go there today and this is what I find is this not the cutest thing in the world, bruh? I just got the charms in the mail literally yesterday and I see this. And there was a Hello Kitty backpack too that I was contemplating on getting, but I was like, it'll probably just be decoration. Like I'm probably not gonna wear an actual backpack. But this I would wear because it's a tote. Y'all know I love me a tote bag, bruh. Is this not so cute? Like I'm literally obsessed, bruh. And then I ordered this other bag from Etsy. Um, Let me try to actually look up the name of the person. The name is Anna's Crafty Closet on Etsy. I got me this bag just on impulse one day. Let's see. I thought it was like a strap, but it's, wait, oh, so it's like this. This is even cuter, actually, hold on. It's like this, like it's a tote bag. It's like a square, it's like a square. Literally still so cute, bro. This is gonna force me to carry less things in my bag because I'll be carrying the world in my tote bag. But this is so cute. I'm stylish, Billy Eilish. <laughs> yeah, 